Ah, there you go. Hard to believe I just made a video and didn't record anything. Because <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Anyway, uh, here we are. We're at the uh, Marshall Swamp Trailhead. Uh, this is this is where I'm going to test out all the equipment. Uh, hopefully later this week. You know, today uh, today actually wouldn't have been a bad day, but it's just not hot enough. It's only 91 degrees today, and uh, I want to make sure I got a heat index of about 105 uh, when I go down into the swamp, and uh, I'll take some videos down in there. Absolutely beautiful trail. I've just never done it in the summertime because the uh, the bugs are out, the snakes are out. I've never seen a gator, but I imagine they're down in there. Uh, we'll kind of hit the beginning of the trailhead today just to give you a feel for what it's like when you when you start in on it. Uh, uh, it's um, it, it looks pretty rough, but uh, I don't think it'll be too bad. So anyway, I've been uh, trying to prepare for this trip. I bought these snake leggings. They got plastic so that if they hit you a uh, copperhead, you know, they hit low and uh, my boots are pretty low. They only come to about right here. <clears throat> so I thought some added protection might be in order, but I think these things are going to be too hot and too uncomfortable in my two inch legs. You can see they come up above the uh, the knee here just about and I don't think they're going to work, but I won't know until I try them out. That's the problem with this trip is everything is uh, a lot of stuff is new. You know, I even bought uh, like this mic here because they told me in a YouTube video that I would need this to uh, get the sound quality uh, that I would need. And then come to find out the jack, even with the adapter, won't plug into the phone. Uh, I could get a GoPro, I guess, uh, and I've been looking into that. And then here's a here's a clue for somebody to make a product. I I was going to buy a selfie stick, but I wanted it to work. You know, someday I'm going to get a GoPro, not for this trip. But it, it, if a selfie stick, if it worked with the GoPro and the phone, that would be perfect. But I'm not going to buy one that just works with the phone. You know, when I, I can use this tripod, I'll, I'll try to get a picture of it for you. We're going to do a little action photo here. And, uh, of course, you got to get the video editing software and everybody, oh, you got to use Adobe Premiere and pay a gazillion dollars every month, you know. No, no, I, I went with the Vic Corel Video Studio. Uh, Best Buy had it on sale for $59, which I know that's steep, man. I but I'll own it, you know, for the rest of my life. I, you know, that's the thing I don't like about uh, Premiere is you got to pay a monthly subscription. So then how do you learn to use it? You know, I've been wanting to take a college class on all of this stuff, making videos and whatnot. And there, there's just nothing. I mean, you can, there's a lot of YouTube videos on Video Studio and they actually have a pretty good tutorial. But I mean, who has time for all of that? You got to sit there and, and look through all of the YouTube videos and uh, study everything. It's, it's like how much how much do I want to put into this this trip um, but I, it'll be worth it you know once we get out uh, some of the trails I'm doing gonna be hiking uh, going across some rivers uh, uh, should be I don't like uh, backpacking this time of the year this is not good uh, so it took a lot of different preparation than what I'm used to you know I'm, I'm a fair weather person I I like to go in the spring or the fall when when it's nice and cool in the night, and, uh, and during the day, you don't get that much rain. We're in the rainy season. I'm expecting a lot of rain, so I had to uh, recondition the tents, uh, seam seal them, you know, put the UV protection on them. You know, that alone was probably a week's worth of work, you know, because uh, I could only do so much of the tent, you know, because the cloth is bunching up, and then you come back and hit it again with the seam sealer and whatnot. So, uh, we're going to go down, take a look at the trail. I'm going to do a little action photo and then uh, go home and we'll edit these together. And uh, I'll throw these up on YouTube. And this is the start of the journey. And uh, like I said, I'll be back out here later this week with the backpack, the whole outfit. Um, that should be interesting. I haven't hiked a 60 pound pack in 10 years, I guess. Uh, I don't even remember the last time I, I did a, a backpacking trip. I guess it was pictured rocks. Uh, I don't, no, maybe Grand Island. Uh, of course, I did Isle Royal twice, uh, but uh, this is different. Uh, we're going to be hitting three or four places on our way up to Virginia. Uh, some of them in the mountains there. Uh, I think the um, uh, Smoky Mountain uh, National Forest, uh, you know, uh, and then we, we're hitting uh, 
maybe Talladega National Forest, uh, and then uh, I can't remember Bear. I got it all at home in the directions. So let's get the action uh, photo, and then we'll head on down into the beginning of the trail. And then I'll throw this up on YouTube for all my friends to watch. I, I don't expect anybody else, although it'll be available to anybody who wants it. Uh, I'll be going over gear and stuff uh, in future videos, uh, have what I took to outfit for this trip, and uh, we'll hit on that. So I just got a message that the phone's too hot. <laughs> this is kind of where you're descending into the depths of hell on the uh, on the trail here, the Marshall Swamp Trail. Remember the first time I did it, it was pretty pretty scary looking. You know, you're thinking, oh man, what in the world? Uh, you know, is something going to jump out and get me? The only thing I worry about is we have these huge, huge banana spiders here in Florida, and. Uh, they get, uh, when you get one in your face, and believe me, I, I run like a little scared, you know, uh, doe just running away screaming. Uh, that's probably the, the biggest concern that I have when I walk trails like this. Here, let's, uh, I'm using the, the tripod here as a selfie. Let's turn it around. So this is, this is kind of the trail. I'm going to try to hold it out a little bit. Yeah, this is actually the uh, the mild portion of the trail. I just wanted to go a ways down in here just to show you what. Oh, here we go. Take it out. You can tell the maintenance crew hasn't hasn't been in here for a while. It's uh, you know that normally that would be cleared out. So that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking I'm going to face because uh, during the summertime, you know, we really don't maintain the trails here in Florida because nobody wants to get in here and. Uh, get eaten alive by the bugs you know a lot of people they don't even it amazes me you know I see people out all the time bug netting it don't cost that much and boy I tell you it works great you know I have my certainly have my netting on when I uh, when I do the trail with my backpack you know like I said we're we're just in the beginning here uh, yeah it's pretty pretty overgrown I can't wait to get some uh, shots of the swamp. We're not going down in there today, of course. I just kind of was going to do a little bit here. Kind of talk about the, the gear a little bit. Uh, I bought this uh, Ventura cooler. Pretty awesome, but expensive. Uh, about $210. Now, I don't know about you. I've been on a lot of car camping trips where uh, the cooler turned over in the car and you got ice and water all over the back of the car, you know, or, or the SUV. So this this cooler, it actually clamps shut. And then the advertisement, it's made by Outer Box. And uh, it, they, show, they show a grizzly beating up on the cooler, you know. And uh, I thought that was a pretty cool advertisement. Uh, it said it's bear proof, which actually comes in handy because, uh, you know, otherwise you got to run your food up a bear pole when you're out in the, you know, really remote areas. And uh, that's a pain in the butt. So I'm, I'm going to be nice just to lock it in that cooler. And then usually you had to throw everything in the car, you know, otherwise. Uh, so the cooler, though, it looks like I can just leave it outside. I'm not really worried. And uh, it seals. It's actually got a watertight seal. Now, I wouldn't leave it on its side overnight because I think you'd probably get a drip out of it. But, uh, you know, nothing like a regular cooler. So that's just one item that I bought. Like I said, I wanted to get the GoPro, but $300. And then, you know, this is another thing. You go to, you go to places like Best Buy. <laughs> you know, I mean, I understand, you know, they're not paying them guys that much money, but they don't know anything. I mean, I'm in there asking them questions and saying, you know, hey, on Amazon, I found a GoPro with all these accessories. Uh, you know, what, what do you got? I said, do you have an accessory package here at Best Buy? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Don't know anything about that. You know, well, you know, what, what about the, uh, the selfie stick for the, you know, 
phone you already talked about that but you know see it just gets frustrating you expect these people to kind of know a little bit but uh it just uh well I, I hey i will tell you one refreshing thing when i've been on backpacking trips sometimes they've turned into disasters uh because you know you 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 meet people and you kind of trust in them what they're telling you and then you find out that no they didn't know what the hell they were talking about I, I one trip comes to mind i was doing grand island with my wife and you know i i showed them the, on the map we were going to do the island in reverse you know most people go out to the right so we went left and uh, i said well there's a stream right here i said i i suppose i can pump water out of that stream right oh yeah 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 that won't be a problem it's a ranger now and and you know they're right across you know how can you be a ranger and not have hiked the trail <laughs> you know i mean that's like it seems like it would be like part of your job but anyway so we got out and finally you know you're you're sweaty and you're running out of water and you get to the the, the place where the uh the water is and it's a 50 foot bridge over top of i mean you'd have to descend down a cliff to get to the water you know and so there's no way I, I could get to the water so we had to just keep going even though i was ready to quit at that point you know that was the plan but that's how things can change now i did talk to some rangers this time i uh, one of the one of the rangers he's got me going into a place that's not even on a map <laughs> which is which is what i wanted it has 10 10 campsites and i looked online and uh there's like nobody uh nobody there you know so i can pretty much go anytime i want and that's that's the one where i'm going to be crossing some rivers and whatnot because uh, you know he was telling me he goes yeah it sounds like you're experienced uh, i got just the place for you man you know and, and but he knew it you know he he said he he's actually gone out and hiked the trails and i thought that was pretty cool let's swing around we'll get one more shot of the trail okay i guess that's it all right, so let's go.